Making and Tuning a Steel Pen, presented by Aisha Joseph. Choosing the drum. Today's drums can be constructed specifically for steel pen building. However, we still use new or used drums as well. The standard drums are 55 gallons with 23 inches in diameter and approximately 35 inches in length. The preferred thickness varies from builder and our tuner. Always avoid drums with sharp dents and rust spots when using recycled drums. And always ensure that the drums have been cleaned from toxins before beginning the sinking process. In this step, we are simply laying out the notes. The builder draws each note using permanent marker and previously made templates. This process is called sinking. It uses a sledgehammer or pneumatic hammer to form the concave shape. This step is called countersinking. The area of focus is the surface between each note. This is where the notes are given their arch convex shape. So this is what I did freehand, and you can kind of see. And then I realized I needed the guidance. And you should be able to see it right here. But this is the completed swipe hand. And then I'm gonna start grooving after I, I make sure everything else is leveled off, but there she is, getting one step closer to completion. And basically, for my friends who may not understand, this is what it's supposed to look like when I'm done. So I'm not sure if you can see like the guideline. Oh, there we go. Come in focus. And I grew within that pattern. And this helps essentially to separate the notes so i'm just gonna take a the next step is called scribing this step preps the builder for grooving the compass is adjusted to the nail pouch for correct measurements the compass is then lined up next to the ruler and scribing begins these lines are created at the parameter of the notes
This step is called grooving. This process is where the note areas are acoustically separated from each other and the rest of the surface. A nail punch is then used to create indentations within the spaces created by scribing. This step is called leveling or smoothing. This step is also called taking out the fat. Due to the swell created by grooving, the surface between the notes need to be smoothened into a concave shape once again. Emphasis is placed on shaping the notes to the desired shape and height. Cutting the drum. Sometimes recycled drums are cut with metal shears at the beginning of the process. Further, metal shears are also used to cut the skirt of the pan. Annealing and tempering. This step is needed as the hammering has stretched and softened the surface. The hammering also created a local tension into the metal. The tension must be removed in order to proceed. Annealing creates the softness needed for the molecular levels while tempering hardens it. Annealing is when we put the pan onto the fire and then tempering is when we take it off. So it's like hot and cold essentially. You heat it up, you get it to where it needs to be and then you take it off so it hardens itself again. Rough tuning. In this step, it involves softening the notes and putting each note at the right pitches. Boring the holes. In this step, once the holes are drilled, the pan is strung by nylon strings or rope for suspending the instrument on its stand. Fine tuning. This step entails adjusting pitches and the timbres while the pan is hanging in its playing position. Fishing. In this step, it all depends on the owner and their desired finished look. Pans can be painted, which is most common and most economical, powder coated, and or chromed, which is the most expensive. But it does lift the sound of the pan. Blending. This step involves adjustment of the pitch, the timbre, and the loudness of the various notes. This is also done to create a balance within an ensemble. This process is done in circular stepwise motion. So just picture a single tenor, double seconds, and a triple guitar in the same room, and the blender is blending to make sure all the notes are resonating together. List. These are two lists composed well of tools. The first list is of building tools. We have EPGs, which is eye air protective gear, dust mask, protective gloves, electric drill, 
a ball peen hammer, a sledgehammer, metal punch, metal file, ruler, permanent marker, and pencils, of course erasers, um, fireplace and a fire extinguisher, safety first, water and soap, note templates, manual and electric metal, cutting shears, rags, and a timing device. And we move on to the list of tuning tools, where we have a tuning hammers, bending iron, wooden wedges, wooden sticks, tuning sticks, padded stand, and or used tires, tuning device, and sticky magnetic sheet. The next two slides are images of some of the tools used. Building tools. So we have a nail punch, two sled hammers, and a smoothing hammer. Here we have tuning tools, and in this slide, this is a picture of a strobe tuner. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and my email will be at the bottom right of this slide. Thank you for watching and for your time. And I also wish to thank the universe, my parents, my family and friends, Mr. Eustace Henry, Mr. Varen Henry, Miss Yuko Asada, and the rich steel pen culture from Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you. Bye.